23rd of fall. Can't help but get sort of a chill in the air at this point. Welcome to Kozu 5. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind. So basically, no. And spirits are neutral. Alright, well, thankfully, we cleaned out our inventory yesterday, so we kind of just go straight into our errands here without having to worry too much about it. I might want to consider trying to buy a chicken today. Let's see if, um. Let's see if we can't solve this. I mean, it's not really a problem, it's just that, like, I can't finish the community center if I don't have a white egg. I mean, technically I could, because, like, well, isn't that, like, one of those where, yeah, you only need five of them, but still. It's, like, one of the easiest things to get, so. Yeah, but I guess, like, finishing the community center in the first year is probably something that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all of it. Yeah, that's what a messy farm, let me tell you. Okay, so, um, well, the chickens may end up escaping here as I attempt to do this, but, yeah, that's just what happens, right? Actually, as far as that goes, maybe they won't. Wait a minute. So I just destroy the fence? Wow. Alright, so I got 21 fences here. I'm gonna hurry up before this chicken gets away over here. That's good. Man, they went right for that grass, didn't they? So we're not quite done yet. Let me actually get over here and... Okay, so I grabbed a couple of wood so I can make another gate here. Like, on the other side. That way we can get in from either end here, and it's not too complicated. There we go. Sweet. And then we're gonna take this out of here. Try not to hit our chickens while we're at it. Sweet. Alright, so inside of the barn looks very nice. We'll have to get another heater for it, but I mean, I guess I might as well. And eventually, we'll build a path across the front of this. I might even put a gate on the front of it, too. I don't know. Just having three ways in wouldn't hurt. But at least now, we kind of got ourselves a thing here. So today's the 23rd. Spirits are neutral. What are we going to do today? Let me just go ahead and put this fence back away here. It feels like forever since we've been to the ocean. I have two stacks of 999 stone now. All that mining, I tell you what. I only have 86 wood, though, so I honestly think this may be the day. Yeah, I think this may be a day for chopping. I don't know. Wait, where's my horsey? Yeah, he made it back. Good. I forgot where I left him the day before, and it turned out, when I went back and watched the video, I had left him over there in the hay to graze on it, and I was like, oh, yeah, you can just graze on this if you want. And then, next thing you know, he was gone. So we're still doing okay on hardwood. Eventually we will need more, but for now, regular wood I think is more important. Yeah, I guess ideally I would be doing something that would make more money than this, like maybe fishing. I don't know, but... I feel like fishing for the most part, especially now that I've finished the fish tank. I'm not really too interested in fishing. So, like we could fish to make more fertilizer, but then it's like, well, you know, you're not going to be growing anything in winter. So, why do you even need the fertilizer, really? So let's just rake up our marijuana here. All right, yeah, fall. I always love the fallers. The <laughs> I always love the fallers and call. That's what I was about to say there. Fallers and call, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. This tree over here. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have brought a void essence or something with me. It's coming out down by the wizard over here. Yeah, you don't usually come down here too often, other than to just chop for trees and do whatever. Yeah, so that rare seed is almost finished growing, and once we get what we get from it, we can take it to the Lost Woods and get us another star drop. Which I feel like that's kind of spoilery, but at the same time... I don't know. I mean, giving gaming advice in general is kind of spoiling it, isn't it? See, the thing is, there's two different kinds of spoilers when it comes to a game. There's story spoilers, 
and there's game strategy spoilers, and I'm always torn, you know, because... Like a lot of times when people stream, they'll say, you know, no spoilers and no tips or anything like that. And I get that, you know, I totally do. But at the same time, sometimes I feel like it's okay. Like, I mean, well, depending on the type of game, it's almost never okay for story spoilers, and I totally get that. But I feel like there's a gray area when it comes to game strategy. You know, like if someone has an idea or something that could help you in the game. It could be argued that that's really not a spoiler, it's more just... You know, and that's why I was saying what I was about the, the rare seat just now, you know, take it in and trade it in for a star drop. Because eventually we are going to do that anyway. And some people already know that's what you do with it, so... But I don't feel like that would be, for someone who didn't know that that's what you could do, I feel like hearing that it would be more of a light bulb moment, like, oh, so that's what you do with it. Because yeah, maybe they were always wondering, in fact, this is the guy. You take it to him, still searching for the sweetest taste. I guess the only spoiler part about that really is what it gives you, which is a star drop, obviously, but still... I don't know, it's a, it's a tricky it's a tricky territory really. <laughs> Always love the music in here too. Man, how the heck is it already 7 10 p.m.? Well I didn't miss any birthdays, I know, because tomorrow is George's birthday. So we'll be bringing him a leak tomorrow. That is if I have one in there, which I'm pretty sure I do. So yeah, let's just swing up here. Well 382 wood, wow. That's not bad. I mean that's just one day's worth. I suppose after using all that hardwood to make that fence, I mean, we'll still need hardwood. So it won't hurt to just be picking it up in the meantime, especially if we have extra time like this. There's really no reason not to. So there's the grass starting to grow again. Cleared it all out yesterday, but apparently didn't clear enough. Also, we got more mushrooms over here. Purple mushroom and a... I've been calling it, like, pronouncing that chanterelle. I think it's actually just chanterelle, like that. Like, there's not a third syllable in chanterelle, it's just chanterelle, or chanterelle, whatever. Um, yes, I'm running out of energy here. Well, I could. Technically, well, do I have all three seeds here? I have maple. I don't have acorns now? Well, that's weird. <laughs> I started smelting gold again, just really more so that I could sell it than anything. Probably still got a bunch in here too, 22. There's eight. Oh yeah, it's two grand right there. I mean, I might as well put these in here too. Fiber, yeah, what the hell. I got so many, you know, well, I'll keep the maple seeds though. Cause I can actually, let me see, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So I can actually still make the bars, oops. Little power bars with those. So, I mean, why not? There's still decent energy for that. Common mushroom will throw in. I don't know why I'm putting all my stuff away. Well, I'm putting it away because just to get it out of the way, I guess, more than anything. There's only like a little bit of time left here, so I'll just run down to the saloon real quick and yeah, make sure we pick that up on the way back. It's another oak resin. Yeah, so, real quick, just to make sure we're right about that. Yeah, tomorrow's George. Oh, it was George. Have another festival on the 26th. I was gonna say, please don't anybody come out of that door. Oh wow, it's gonna slow in here tonight. Oh, this is kind of bizarre. Well, I guess it is pretty late. Most people probably left already. Anyway, oops, wait, that's not what I wanted to... There. Aquamarine! Yes, this is exactly... Oh, I didn't bring any peppers? Actually, I don't know if I have any peppers left. How's it going, Pam? You know what? I owe you all the beers. There you go. Yeah, that's good. And Emily, this time I got something different for you. Let's get this fabulous. Thank you so much. I really should get Gus something, I guess, more often. I mean, I guess. I have diamond here. I, was, I brought this for Marnie originally, but... But okay, this will work. Alright. Oh yeah, 
see. See what I mean, though? You couldn't see the horse. He was behind the bushes. Sometimes it's easy to get lost and kind of miss out. Alright, grab that oak resin. Maybe go ahead and throw together another keg with it. I don't know. We could. Is maple syrup done? Nope. And those tappers are working out pretty good. I'm not getting too much of it, you know, to the point where it's like, oh, I'm wasting my time. At least I am doing stuff with it, so... Alright, I just got the makings for another keg there. Wait, wait, what do I have? Uh, let's put all this stuff back away here. <laughs> all these potential gifts that never got to be given. Now, I brought the honey with me because I thought I might run by the community center, but... Yeah, that didn't end up happening. So, well, now I'm getting sleepy. It's kind of a short day. Oh, wow. Man, the sound of those kegs is, like, so ASMR-inducing. Oh, I got one grape left. No, I'd like to put you in there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off these jellies while I'm here. What are these? Oh, cranberry jelly, okay. Well, that ought to be a pretty good... Well, there's only nine of it, so it won't be that much, but... Yeah, but whatever. Okay. Happy birthday, George! George, George, George of the jungle. Yeah, cranberry jelly's got the most of it there. That corn made out pretty well, too. It's the mining. Oh, yeah, because the gold bars. Those gold bars, man, I tell you what. If you're ever at a loss. And it's not like if I sold all of them, it'd be. Oh, no, I have no gold bars. Would it be so easy to just make more? Okay, those are all inactive, so we got to put something in there. Alright, we'll get around to that later. How's it going, chickens? You know, I never did buy that extra chicken. Oh, sorry, my keyboard's kind of loud. And I'll say only ate one hay, that's because I had that grass out there and they ate it, so... But you know what? Good for you. Y'all come on out and play now. Whoa, whoa, I'm not trying to push you out. That's a close one. Jeez. Okay, so that letter's probably about the fair coming up. If I had to guess... A couple of recipes I thought I'd send you one. Maybe it'll help you make more ore or something. Take care. Algae soup. Wow. Okay. Wait, we got more. Hey, kid, here's the recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make cook it slow. Cheese collie. It's like cheese cauliflower. Holy moly. Flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. I see you soon. Salad. Hey. Thanks, Emily. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that's a good one there. <laughs> Pretty low on fried eggs, but do I want to make... I have so much food in here, it's ridiculous. This here is like a really good gift for somebody, but it feels... Oh. But I think I'd rather use it for energy because it's so it's easy enough to get. Like, I think Jazz actually likes these, and I haven't given her crap in this playthrough so far. So, like, I could give that to her, I guess. Once again, you know, even this late in the game, I'm still wrestling with little decisions like that. Like, you know, you have it sitting in there, and it looks good. It makes your inventory look good just to leave it there. But at the same time, sooner or later, you gotta do something with it. So ultimately, what is that gonna be, though? You know, are you gonna gift it, or are you gonna use it for energy? And either way, it's such a small piece of the big puzzle, though, what you end up doing with it. Because once you've done whatever it is you're gonna do with it, you're not going to remember that you did it. You're not going to care what you did with it, it's not going to matter. But you put so much stock into it, you know, you think to yourself, oh, man. Well, at least the cranberries are ready to go, we got to have something to put in those kegs and all. Alright, let's uh, bait these things up here. And, uh, four crows, good for you, man. Thank you for staring off those crows. Staving off those crows. Staving is such a weird word. Because it sounds like steak. Like like a wooden steak that you would drive through a vampire's heart or something. Staving off. It also sounds like shiv, which you also drive through somebody's heart. 
amazing. I keep remembering you have to. Are these these can be picked here? Holy crap! So I guess technically, if I wanted to, I could make something out of those too. The biggest thing with beets is that you make sugar with them. So once again, that makes them an ingredient, but oh, look at there's so many different qualities of them, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I can actually do this, is drop in a couple of beets here, and I keep messing that up, and then cranberries for the rest here. And then I'm going to put some cranberries away. I'll put away 12 cranberries. Because I know those pumpkins are coming pretty soon, and then we're going to want to start using putting those in. So, but... I don't know, I mean, I have a lot of kegs in there, though. You're talking about, like, 15 kegs. Every three days, you're going to want to fill them up with something. Now, over the course of winter, that's 28 days. So that's, like, nine times you're going to have to refill those 15. So you'll need a stock of, like whatever 15 times 9 is, yeah, maybe we should put away more than that. It's like, I'm greedy though, I want to get the money for them. I don't want to put them away. But that's life, you know, that's life in general right there for you. It's just, if you are going to put stuff away for it though, put away the lower quality stuff. Because quality doesn't matter when it comes to preserves, jars, or whatever else. So I'm gonna put this in, put that in, that in. So beets aren't in the community center, so that won't matter. Bait, I never put back on my rod. I was like, where did that bait come from? Jeez. So stick this over here, and what's left? Fish. Alright, fish, fish, fish. There you go. Now since it's on my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oops. Okay, and I haven't forgotten George's birthday, so don't worry. I'm still thinking about it. Let me get these eggs out of here. And move them to a better place. And one, two, three, four, five. We'll just make five. We don't need a lot here. Did I mean to put those in the other chest, I wonder? Huh. If I did, I'm gonna put them in the other chest. You know, because if I'm holding this stuff out here for no reason... Okay, so yeah, today's definitely a gifting day, so George... Emily, Clint, Harvey, Sebastian, Abigail, Haley, Sam, uh, Marnie, Robin, Leah, Wizard, <laughs> Maru, Vincent. Oh, you know, I guess I can take the hardwood now out of this chest, now that I know how to make spaghetti. It's fine to gift Robin, I'm gonna gift her spaghetti, not hardwood. So, sorry, Robin, but I decided I had to be the honorable person here and stop giving you hardwood. Sometimes you just have to take the high road in life, you know? The high roids. So here's the other thing, like, you can't gift Harvey when he's behind the counter unless you're good enough friends with him to get behind the counter to do it, so... It's kind of a weird situation there. Because you can't, like, gift him over the counter, you know? It's kind of nice music here. That you wouldn't expect the music in a hospital to be so upbeat. Oh! Okay, maybe you can always open these doors then. I would have thought you couldn't. Oh, look at this. The mother load. The mother load. Why didn't I bring pancakes? I forgot the pancakes, man! Well, okay. Well, at least we can give Sam his gift then. There you go, buddy. Ah, close on Wednesdays. Okay, fine. I didn't realize it was Wednesday, man. Alex? Oh, man. I never... <laughs> Alex and Caroline are like those two, you know. Alright, George. Happy birthday, my man. Is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Don't remind me, please. Please don't remind me. I must be 75 and a half years old. Wait a minute. If it's my birthday, how can I be a half? I have no idea. Man, I kept getting confused and thinking that was Penny's birthday the other day. It was actually Robin's. Well, ah, oh, Leah, how's it going? Got you some fancy wine. Oh, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Yeah, and Harvey's looking out at the river. 
Sometimes you just have to go look at the river, you know? So, Clint. I guess if I was coming all the way out here, I should have brought some geodes or something. I'm not even sure what my geode situation looks like right now, though. Aquamarine, coming for you. There you go, yes. We're making friends, y'all. That's what we're doing. All those recipes I got in the mail, they'll just keep coming if we keep doing this. I cannot believe I forgot to bring those banana pancakes, man. It's like, how can I forget the banana pancakes? Emily, hi. Uh, here you go. You're welcome. Is Haley around? Got something for her, too. Well, Haley must be hanging out by the southwest end of the world. It's the only other place you ever see her. Well, I mean, in summer, she's over by the ice cream vendor, but... Oh, you know what? Oh my god, I just... Oh, people have probably been telling me about this, too. Um, there's actually a trick to get ice cream out of season, and I'm going to show it to you right now. You can only do it when you have the horse. And it's actually really hilarious. So here's what to do. Come over here. And park your horse. Oh no, tell me they didn't fix this. I can't get him in there. Can I? Oh my god, you can. You can still do it. You can park the horse. And then the horse will act as a vendor. And you can buy ice cream. Yes, you can. Because see, watch now, if I move the horse away and try to do it, it won't work, because there's nobody there. Closed until summer. So yeah, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Penny, I didn't bring you an emerald. I would have thought if I had emeralds... I not remember that. Uh, I'll tell you. Anyway. Jazz, I still ain't got shit for you. Maybe I should have brought that pink cake after all. I'm seeing Abigail around. No. At least we remember the birthday for George. It's such a big deal, man. And it is only 3.30. Hey, is Sam at work, I wonder? Oh, wait, wait, we already gifted Sam. What are we doing? Mm -ba -ba -ba. This is definitely not the optimal path. See if anybody's hanging over the playground. Oh, there's a couple people here. Hey, Lee. Got a third coconut for you. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing. Caroline, I have no summer spangles for you. But, there's blackberries lying around, so... Uh-oh, cutscene. Oh, that's right. We unlocked this forever ago. Man, has it been that long since I've been over here? I don't know either. I'm not saying a word. Alright, so this is not, I mean, I don't know, I've never really tried to make use of this. Mainly because I just don't care for having more utensils or tools in my inventory. But, you know, I guess. I just don't make a habit, usually, of carrying the pan around with me. Robin, I'm sorry about your birthday, man. But I still have the spaghetti here, it's two days old now. This is for me. Wow, I absolutely love it. Well, thank you so much. Demetrius, I found a secret to get ice cream. Can I get you some? Guess not. Oh man, she's leaving too. I just barely caught her in time then, didn't I? Well, it's 5 p.m. now, so... Boy, Horsey is so fast, man. I love him. I love my Horsey. Pam. Beer. Oh, there you are. Hello. Gotcha. Now I don't have to go down there. That's 
lovely. Pam, I'll grab you a beer. Oh yeah. Thank you whoever told me about that, that you could just talk to the cash register. I don't know why I forgot that, but I did. Alright. Well, we're gonna be maxed out for the week here. Oh, we gifted Emily. Did we gift Shane? See how now I'm doing that? Uh, now that I have this kind of money, I feel like I can afford to actually do this. Even if it's not somebody's birthday. Where I really couldn't do that before. So, and also, I guess luck doesn't actually affect the arcade. Because I know I said that it did. But it actually doesn't. It's not according to the wiki, it doesn't. Look at me right now, money penny. Okay, well, interestingly enough, Penny actually loves sandfish. So, you know, if you're in the desert and you feel like fishing a little bit, grab some sandfish. And give those to her. I'm not sure what kind of association you could use to remember that. Other than, I guess, sandfish is close to the color of her shirt. Yeah, we got some trees down here. Might as well chop chop. What else are we doing? Yeah, the spirits are neutral, so I don't feel too bad about missing out on a mining day. And I don't want to get too overzealous with trying to get into that mine, you know, and do all that stuff. I mean, if anything, I've got the iridium now, I should start deciding what I'm going to make with it. Well, I guess the bigger reason to go to the mine would be to get those void essences and those solar essences and whatever else. Speaking of which, I wonder if I revisit the sewer that guy would have more of those for me to buy. You can also gift that guy down there. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, he has a whole little list of his own of things that he likes. We'll get there in a second. We'll get there soon enough. I just want to chop these trees down. Alright, so real quick, we're going to drop by here. This place is so ominous. There's like a door here too, but it says there's some kind of force field blocking your path. How stupid is that? That's a ladder going up. It's the other way out. Hello! He does have more. Okay, uh, well, you know what? I'll take him. Void essences are easy enough to get on their own, so... I'm not too worried about it. If I had more time, I'd try some fishing down here, but it's getting late. Okay. I wandered a little far from my horse there. It's after midnight now, so we're gonna have to watch ourselves here, but... Oh, there's another hazelnut. <laughs> it's kinda weird to see those dropping from here. Yeah, there's lots of trees out here. As you can see, my energy bar is so huge that it's gotten to where it's pretty rare for me to actually use it all. It's gonna be even more rare in the winter for me to use it all. Because in the winter you don't have to water any crops. So you're going to have to find other stuff to do. Oh boy. Um, shoot, this river. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, why are you pushing me down? 110. Oh, well, I mean, we'll make it back in time, but just barely. Thank you, Horsey, for being so fast. 30. Jeez, at least make it back to the farm. Dude, getting caught on the bushes here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh man, I might have overdone it there. Yeah, Joja, prepare to make another 500 G's off of me here. Pass out on the horse. <laughs> you just get that picture in your head of me like sleeping on the horse as he walks me home. <laughs> well, lots of cranberries and beets. Apparently beets aren't the greatest sellers in the world. Even the gold stars are... Well, the, well, the reason the cranberries are so much better is because I have more of them. I didn't sell that many beets. But we still made out, made out with like almost 5k there, so... Any money that we spent pretty much came right back to us. Alright, see you guys next time on Stardew Valley. Take care, y'all.